everyone it's Denise Love and today I thought we could do this page that was the other side of our uh, flap that we just glued down and you can see how fantastic that worked those are in there good I can make it a little flexible if I want but I don't want to pop any off just in case but look how fantastic that kind of turned out I'm digging it and I kind of wanted to do something that was in this color range but also wouldn't clash with the um, collage stripes that I striped together so what if we do something in this blue green I almost wanted purple but there's no purple in this over here so I'm thinking in the blue green and then we can mark make and do something on top and I almost want it to be like a full page so it kind of shows up under here and it might not not match exactly but I think it'll be okay because you've got that blue green over here with the touch of purple and that can be the touch of purple showing on that page that's kind of where I'm thinking so I've pulled out some Blick matte acrylics because I love them and I've pulled out just kind of looking right in here in these colors to see did I get something close and then maybe I'll do some stencil work on top with perhaps some graphite I don't know it's kind of in my kind of just kind of thinking about it and I'm thinking a great big abstract and so what do you think and I really like these pops of this um, green gold kind of green that we get from the stability stabilo here so I might do that I don't know I'm gonna take inspiration from here so that this kind of flows and kind of does its own thing and I can see where the little bit of paint bled through from the stencil on this side which is why I want to cover the whole thing in paint that's kind of where my thoughts are going there um, so I'm gonna get us the silicone bowl scraper out maybe maybe some wedges I don't know let's see I think maybe we can start with some mark making oh yeah let's do that got my great big Lyra water soluble graphite I want to call it a crayon but is that a crayon <laughs> so let's start with that and why do I do that I do that just to get rid of white page syndrome and kind of loosen up and get your mind going um, so that's kind of why I start that and this is water soluble so we could come back and add some water and we could mush it around but really more than anything I'm just looking to break up the blank page which I know with the little paint and stuff that bled through onto this page it wasn't technically blank but this is just a good warm-up under your paint it's such a good exercise just to just get the ideas flowing oh yeah okay so I like that so let's start there and some of that could show through some of it might not show through but I'm kind of thinking this paint feels very thick how thick is that is thick paint okay so let's do it with a paintbrush then and this is a this is a weird color I can't say I actually use this color hardly ever at the same time I love it it's like Tiffany blue reminds me of the verdigris color on the top of copper roofs and stuff so it's like a color that maybe I should be using more of because who doesn't love Tiffany blue then you know what we could these are some of the catalyst um, wedges with the the divots in them we could come through and smear that paint a little bit make some marks just get us kind of warmed up here and then what I like about these we can just wipe off the paint off the silicone um, all right I am kind of feeling this I do like it all right we got some of this blue I love this blue that's like my favorite color and it's very similar to this other color kind of want some white so I think I'm gonna put out some white gesso because white gesso is nice because it's basically acrylic paint it's got some grit in it and if we wanted to go on top of our paint 
makes it nice and gritty and it also makes the paint um, super spreadable and I want the white Is that white let me make sure that was white that was clear <laughs> that's not what I wanted <laughs> I want the white just so because I want it to be I want to lighten some of these colors I want another here we go so you knew that looked weird there we go all right now we got some white gesso out and i want the white gesso to be my white paint i want it to make the paint more spreadable um, because it does it almost just it's different it just gives it some more liquidiness or i don't know just makes it where it does more what i want it to do and we'll get that pretty white as a contrast so win-win <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should have had like a dark gray or ooh, or maybe the liquid graphite. Definitely feeling a liquid graphite maybe. And I do have like some, ooh, ooh, look at that. Whoa, that's what I wanted because I don't want those brush strokes. I want it to be, I want it to be more worked in and abstracty feeling. So there we go. Good way to work out the brush strokes so that you don't have just swirly brush strokes in there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, I love it. I love it. Got some gray. Don't want the gray in there. Um, it might be kind of close, but uh, what, what, what the heck? Why not? What the heck? Let's go ahead and get some gray and just see what it looks like. And I'll probably use my bowl scraper again to get rid of my brush marks oh I like that now I want some white back on top for me it's all about the layers I want the brush, but at the same time, I don't want the brush. Let's put this kind of through here and see what we get. Whoa, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, ooh, I like all that texture right there. Look at that texture we just created. I'm kind of being careful about setting it down in the middle because I don't want there to be like a weird dividing spot where I started the paint. And at the same time, I do kind of want some, maybe some white marks. Ooh, let's do that. I like that right there. Ooh. So it's way different than the piece that we're bookending it to, but I don't even care. <laughs> we're just going to get what we're going to get. All right, let's. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Because see now, if we flip this over, I can kind of see what that's going to be around it. And I'm, I'm not hating it. I like it because I'm still seeing the colors in there. I'm kind of feeling that. All right, let me put that in some water. I think I've got enough of the gray. This was sage blue. Didn't look blue, did it? It looked gray when I opened it. This was the green, green blue deep. I like these because they are better quality than craft paint, but they're like a convenient little craft paint bottle. And I love them because they're matte and they don't dry shiny. Um, this is aqua. Um, kind of thinking I was, I was debating on, you know, should we do like a little kind of leafy pattern down here and maybe um, up here and that could be the pattern on this. What do you think? Or this is a, um, stencil girl stencil i'm pretty sure this is from the stencil club yes sc-06-2020 shaw um jordan and that's a stencil club stencil so if you're in the stencil club you can buy past months and this was a past month and i loved it so i'm kind of thinking that we could do like a little row of this leafy yummy pattern down here 
and then we could come back with you know whatever this is doing here or we could just leave the leafy pattern Ooh, or we could come up the side with the leafy pattern what do you think about up the side whoa I'm kind of feeling that <laughs> kind of want it to be the graphite and I was going to use the um, liquid graphite from Sketchbox because I like that little tip but at, on this side um, I'm not doing tip I'm dipping a brush down in so I think I'm going to use the high viscosity fluid graphite um, I'm pretty sure yeah by Kiritake I love this one let me put these bowl scrapers over here to the side And we'll pull out a brush. Maybe I'll use this brush. This is the Princeton Select Round Blender. And I'm going to, instead of using my traditional um, art sponge, which I keep right here, instead of doing that, I might brush these in exactly where I want them and see if I can get something that's uh, less paint dabbed and more painted on perhaps. And it will allow me to stick my brush down into my material so let's just see if this is going to work i'm kind of wanting to do it and then continuing it on so we're just gonna go for it and paint this in it don't have to be perfect i'm just playing with ideas here So I like that. Let's see what that looks like. And then I'm going to move it down if we like it. If we don't like it, well, it's on there anyway. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, that is gorgeous, actually. So let's just do it. I'm not really worrying about any crossover. I'm just going to go ahead and continue it because look how delightful that is. Oh my gosh all right i'm gonna set this to the side and let it you um some people say stamp this down on something else you could definitely do that um filming it's kind of hard on my surface to have enough surfaces around to do what i'd like to do uh, so i do set it to the side and by the time i'm done filming it is kind of dry but i do the best i can now i'm almost feeling like we could come back with our liquid graphite and or I can come back with a little tiny paintbrush, but I kind of feel like I want maybe some dots, perhaps, just to see. Um, you know, I could come back with some lovely little dots coming off of this. So I do kind of feel like I want to do that. And at the same time, I got to be real careful. Um, I don't want it to be so big that they're weird, but I just want to maybe just continue the story a little bit here and there could do that with a gray Posca pen or something like that if you wanted but I just thought how delightful dots are always a little bit whimsical which is why I love this container um, so if I ever manage to use all of this I don't have a I have a second one I'm gonna save this container though and put some other fluid paint in it because it's amazing having that yummy little tip on there all right look how fun that is that's exactly what i was kind of thinking could even come down here and add a few little dots and make it look like it wasn't <laughs> random that we stuck that right there on top oh I love it okay now I'm 
I'm digging this page. This is good. This is a good page. And if you like to do writing or some type of art saying or something, this would be the perfect spot for that. I'm not going to do that, but that would be perfect. Now I feel pretty good about this page right where it's at. I could come through with some mark making on top, um, but I'm kind of feeling good right where it's at. And not going to put that all the way down. But look how fun the stripes are outside of our flap here. And that we can still see the colors and it still kind of blends in with this side. I'm thinking that's super cool. And it is kind of off from this side. So now I'm thinking, could we add a touch of that brightness? Like perhaps, I don't know, perhaps... <laughs> Like the bright, like this, like red and teal. Do you know red and teal look amazing together? So we could come and add some, just a little bit of a teal. I mean, a red, maybe some dots or some lines or some of these um, marks here that I liked. I could have come on top with some punchinella circles. See, I almost like that it's maybe the red from over here. I don't know. I think I'm going to let this sit for a while as I dwell on that instead of doing something that I'm like, okay, I regretted that. Um, and you can do that. Just leave it where it's at. And then later when you come back and you're like, ha ha, this is what that needs. I mean, I feel like it could use... A dash of this color but I, at the same time I love it just like it is and at the same time I want some of this color we could even just kind of come through with some marks let's just do it let's just do it more. and then that'll it's real light so you can almost can't see it but it'll give me an idea and then I won't feel like <laughs> I, won't, I won't feel like I shouldn't have done that um, I kind of like it just a tiny bit in here. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just a little bit of some movement and some marks. And I don't want to hit my graphite. It's still wet. Whatever this binder is in this um, liquid graphite, whatever that binder is, takes a while to dry. So I don't want to smear that around. This, this stuff dries a little faster. It's already drying pretty good. Because I can see that, but there is still a little bit of wet in there. Okay, I like that tiny bit. I'm going to leave it there and live with that for a while. And at some point, I could say, oh, it needs something, but I don't think so. So I'm feeling that's my page for today. Um, and that's pretty cool. I could even do, ha ha ha, ha the more I think about this, I could do some florals. I could pull that one back out um, that I had out on another page and just throw some florals in here that would be fun not even like completely okay i'm kind of filling that we don't have to like completely fill it up but we could do just some elements they could be red but i'm feeling like i like the charcoal let me just get my paintbrush back out and maybe a few flowers would be fun. Just coming off of this, try not to touch that. <laughs> a flower. All right, I'm kind of digging that. Let's go ahead and just throw a few of those on here. Like they're just floating off in the wind. Yeah, could have done those in red, but that's okay. I'm liking the gray. There we go. I feel better about that now. I feel like it tied it in a little better and gave us 
I like it. Okay, I'm liking that. We're gonna we're gonna call this one good for today. I'm good with that page. I'm gonna let this dry. Hope you had fun adding another page here in our uh, mixed media journal. I know these journals um, by Dina Wakely. I know I've been calling it Dina, but several people have called it Dina. So apparently her name is Dina, and I'm sorry I have pronounced it Dina because it looks like Dina. That's how we'd say that here. <laughs> so these Dina Wakely media journals I know are uh, hard to come by, but they do have some craft paper ones they're currently making, and I heard um, that she might be working on a new uh, one of these with different papers possibly so if you get your hands on one that's super fun if you make your own mixed media journal that's super fun because then you can just take some ideas that look interesting and say oh what might I do in my book it doesn't have to be the same book I'm using or the same papers I'm using um, you could also the craft paper journals you could do the craft paper journal ones and do all these things on the craft paper pages because there's craft paper in here and I just coated it with gesso uh, clear gesso and then painted on top of it so that would be a fun option so you could take any of these ideas and more and and work in any type of uh, watercolor journal um, that you can get your hands on so don't be discouraged if you can't get this one anymore look around and see and what I liked about this is the size um, it's big it's challenging it's not the little bitty easy ones and so it's like okay how do I take my ideas and expand them to a larger size so that's one reason why I've really liked diving into this big um, page size um, which doesn't have a size on it but these are pretty big I take a ruler here um, these are 10 inches which is like 25 centimeters by we'll say 14 ish inches because there's two more so 10 by 14 which would be like what was that like 25 centimeters by there's 30 25 centimeters by 35 centimeters um, so you can see it's a nice big size and it's kind of unusual to work in a bigger sketchbook in this way but then you know when you're done you get to flip the pages and I always have wanted one where I can flip the different pages of the things I've painted and be like oh my god look at these amazing things so I'm very excited to have gotten this far in this book and not giving up on that first layout that I actually um, am a little bit frustrated with but at the same time it could be finished like I could have just been my first foray into the book wherever that was it's in here somewhere um, but I'm glad I didn't stop there and think oh I'm frustrated with this and I don't know how to keep going further where is those first pages they're in here somewhere but I'm glad that didn't I didn't let that stop me uh, because that'd be very easy to do look at this one Whoa, that was so cool I know you know the one I'm talking about but I don't know where it's at oh it may be further up I don't know let's see and if I had oh yes so if I had let this page here discourage me which now I'm kind of liking it and I'm thinking oh maybe it is done and I was just getting discouraged because it was first and I thought maybe it needed more because I actually feel like this could be done I like the flap it's just random pretty paper and then this is pretty so this could be done and maybe I was just frustrated but look at these other pages now as we can flip through here and be like oh, oh, oh it's amazing now I'm getting excited about this book look at that one and now we've actually I'm gonna call this one done this I love love this I do love love and now that we've got the extra little flowers falling I feel like it's finished I feel like it's matches okay with the page I have beside it I'm fine with it hope you had fun painting with me today and listen to me ramble can't wait to see what you're working on definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you next time